Hi everyone, this is Claudine Hamilton. I am excited to share with you today my Ice Pop Favor Boxes and how to put them together. So these are the Ice Pop Favor Boxes and they come in eight different colors so you can print out and make whichever ones are your favorite. My favorite is the Neapolitan and then they just open right here and you can put your treats inside so you could put in gift cards fit in really great or you can put in small treats like uh, Hershey's Kisses or other little uh, wrapped candies and then it just closes nicely like that and you've got a really cute summer party favor box so let me show you how to put these together so when you download and print out your Ice Pop Favor Box Kit, this is what one of the pages will look like. They're all the same template, just different colors for the eight different flavors, and we're going to be working with the Neapolitan today. And what we want to do to get started is cut around the entire outside of the template as well as the outside of the stick. And then here you'll see I've got a little key that tells you to cut on the solid lines and fold on the dotted lines. Now to just make cutting easier, instead of making little tabs here, I just made it a rounded shape and then I want you to cut in on these solid lines. Now it looks like a lot of cutting, but it actually goes very quickly and much more quickly than if I had created little tabs for you to go around. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what's next. Just a couple of cutting tips I wanted to share with you to cut this long piece here. I find it easiest to come in from this direction on the paper and go all the way down on one side and then repeat all the way down on the other. And for the stick, I like to cut just a general rectangle around the stick and then I'll show you how we'll refine that in just a little bit. Now that it's all cut out, I just wanted to point out a couple other uh, shortcuts. Now over here you can maybe see um, there's a little white area that I could have cut out uh, right in there, but you can skip that step if you want to and just make sure that you cut a little line in there and let it go all the way to the edge. You'll see what I mean when you see the template closer. It just makes cutting go a little faster or you can follow my template exactly. Also make sure that you cut out the little line here at the bottom. That's where the stick is going to go. So now that it is all cut out, we need to score the lines. I'm working on Staples Photo Mat uh, paper here and it is a nice heavyweight cardstock and it's inexpensive, but we do need to score the lines because otherwise if we don't, it will make cracks or uh, funny lines in the paper. It just won't fold nicely. So all I'm doing here is I'm working on a legal pad and it adds just the right amount of cushion. And I'm taking my ruler, I'm lining it up exactly with the dotted line and I'm taking a pen with no ink in it and I'm just going over the line. And there you can see here, it makes a nice score mark in the fold line there so that then it will fold nice and cleanly. So you want to do that to all of the fold lines and then to the arched areas up here all I do is I just take my pen, you don't need a ruler, and just draw along the lines there to score those lines as well. Once you've got everything scored, you want to make sure to fold it down. So I'm just folding down all of these little tabs at the top as well as you want to fold all of these parts as well. So that way you can make sure you didn't miss scoring any of the dotted lines and you get it ready to put together. And really just with the cutting and the scoring, it only takes a minute or two. And with this flap, I like to just curl it a little bit in my hands so that that way it starts to make the paper want to go in that direction. So now we are ready to apply adhesive. And what I like to use for my adhesive is a tape gun. So you could use double stick tape for this. You could use glue gun. I find that the double sided tape just works best. It's quick, it's not messy. So you want to tape tab A over there. That's the only tab. So here's a little trick. Instead of taping all of these little tabs here, we're going to flip this over 
and we're going to tape along either side of this long tab and you want to get really close to the edge and I don't even mind if mine goes over the edge a little bit I just tuck it in it's better to get really close to the edge so that that way you'll get good adhesion with the tabs so I just tuck it in there and then we're just going to add one little piece of tape right in there and now it's ready to put together so I'm going to just take tab A and put it together with this side which makes a box sort of shape and you can see where it lines up I like to fold the tab all the way down and then that gives me the chance to line it up really nicely and then I press the tab down in and then now you can see really how the rest of it is going to go together it's going to take it let me uh, focus in here and just start adhering to these little tabs here so I get about halfway on one side and then I flip over and I do the other side and then I like to reach inside and just make sure that they are sticking and now you can see it's really almost putting itself together the rest of the way so you want to just get the rest of these little tabs to about there and then you're just going to tuck I like to reach inside and grab this tab that's coming through here so it doesn't quite stick to the glue just yet until I get it all in position so I'm holding it I don't know if you can see but I'm holding the tab with my finger so make sure that it's all where I like it and nice and tight to the top and then once I'm sure I've got got it where I like it then I let go and I press it to the adhesive that's on the inside so now it's looking like this and what I like to do is just take my pen the just the top of my pen and use it to just press this to the adhesive so I get a nice firm seal and there you can see that so then we could fold up our little box and now all we've got to do is put together the little stick and I have already scored these dotted lines that are on it and then you want to make sure to cut this little line that's indicated by the arrow and you're going to fold it in half and then you're just going to glue but you're going to glue from these tabs down so you don't want to glue those tabs together so now you can cut it out so that it is along the stick line you can just follow the outline there and then you can see you want to open tabs A and B so it's like this and I'm going to apply adhesive to tab A and B and separate them like that and then to insert it and you want to go from the inside and just get it through there and then grab it and pull it all the way down to the little dotted lines and then all you're going to do is just fold those down and secure so now your little ice pop has a stick and it's ready to put your favors inside you can fill it with all kinds of things you could put gift card inside chocolates and you can fill it actually with quite a few things even though it looks like a small little box so you can See in there I've got all kinds of Hershey kisses I've got a gift card all kinds of things then you would fold it closed so if you've got a lot of treats and favors inside you might want to add a little circle clear circle sticker there but then it is ready for your summer party and we've got all of these other flavors here we've got 
all kinds of eight different flavors for you to choose from. This is a fun summer favorite, the firecracker pop. We've got watermelon, we've got chocolate. So just about any flavor that you could ever want in a fun little ice pop favor box.